Caucus Against Drunk Driving hosted its annual candlelight vigil to remember friends and loved ones killed by a drunk driver. Fox 26 reporter Sophia Lesios spoke to a victim who says she speaks up about her sister in hopes that it might save someone else's life. Sophia. Rich, so many victims and families and friends were out tonight sharing their stories. And one Valley woman tells me even though it's been 16 years since her sister has been gone, it still hurts every time she drives down the old Kings Canyon Road. 23 victims who died in crashes were put on display. But all of these crashes could have been avoided. We have so many rideshare programs. There's no excuse to get behind the wheel. California Highway Patrol Captain Austin Malunas says driving under the influence is one of the leading causes of crashes in the Central Valley. Don't drink and drive. Don't get behind the wheel because it can just have life-altering effects, not only on you, but other parties that may be involved. Other parties like Carissa Melendez's family. In 2009, her brother-in-law picked up her 18-year-old sister from babysitting. On the way home, a drunk driver crashed into their car head-on. My brother-in-law, he passed away. He died instantly. Uh, my sister, she suffered major injuries um, for about four days, and then they pronounced her um, brain dead. The crash was on Highway 180 that was previously just called Kings Canyon. My family's from Sanger, so uh, we have to pass by there, you know, and just, just to know, like, this is where this all started. This is where our world was turned upside down. This candlelight vigil not only reminds everyone these lives were taken needlessly, but also just trying to prevent the crash from even occurring by creating that education in our community that knows how impactful it is. According to the U.S. Department of Transportation, 37 people die every day from drunk driving crashes. That's one person every 39 minutes. That's why MAD hosts events like this to bring awareness to this crime. Rich? That's a terrible figure. All right, thanks, Sophia. The U.S. Department of Transportation says it's seen a 14% increase in impaired driving deaths since 2020.